Good morning, ladies and gentlemen and distinguished guests. Good morning, colleagues and friends. It's my great honor and pleasure to welcome you all to this morning's program and of course to the festival we are about to begin, uh, which will go on for the next three days. To be very honest, it would have been much nicer to welcome you in the Goethe Institute Jakarta, but the circumstances are requiring us to meet in this virtual format rather than at the Institute as we had originally planned prior to the pandemic. I would like to thank you all for joining us this morning online and for this very special event we are starting right now, the festival Letters Budaya, or in English, the Hack Your Culture Festival. I would like to express my sincere thanks and appreciation to all of you who generously helped us in organizing this event. We are grateful to all our institutional partners for teaming up with us to make this happen. And so many thanks go to the Directorate General of Culture and especially to Dr. Hilma Farid, to Lippi, the Indonesian Institute of Sciences, to Wikimedia Indonesia, the Indonesian Game Association, AGI, to Alex Media Computindo, and to Gymscape Community. We say on behalf of the Goethe Institute, thank you very much for your support in putting this event together. We are extremely grateful and we would like to thank our partners from the area of museums, galleries, libraries and archives for their generous contribution in opening access to their collections for this event. We are grateful to Sumatran Numismatic Museum, to Horizon Magazine, to Devantara Kirti Kriya Museum, to Dirgantara Mandala Museum, to Ajibro City Library, to Bank Indonesia Museum, the Pacifica Museum, the Indonesian Islamic Art Museum, the Indonesian Heritage Museum, the History of Java Museum, and the Indonesian Visual Art Archive. Thank you all for taking this step forward and for opening up your archives and collections for the festival. Now let me give for all of those of you who join us uh, for the first time um, and of course for all of those who have been with the program for the last year. Let me give you just some background um, to Hack Your Culture. We began this journey last year with the first workshop of our program by working with galleries, libraries, archives and museums, in short, obviously GLAM, to reimagine the role of GLAM institutions in the digital era. Some of the questions we posed and tried to answer were how has the digital transformation already changed the role of GLAM institutions? In what directions will it continue to do so? How can GLAM institutions embrace this transformation while also and at the same time fulfilling their traditional mission? Today, these questions are even more relevant in view of the fact that the coronavirus pandemic has completely changed the way we live our lives, the way we do business, at least for the moment. And probably this is going to continue for quite a while, um, right into the next year. Museums and galleries have had to close. Some of them opened again but then later on had to close again and some are still closed in some places. And we all in our professional and partly also private communication are confined to the digital space. A space where we learn, where we work and where we communicate with our friends and families. 
Now the question remains or becomes even more pressing, how can we expand this digital space so that it is also a place where we can experience culture, a space where culture is accessible for everyone. And that is exactly why we are here now and why we are meeting during this festival. We are here to take a step forward towards open glam, to make cultural heritage, cultural knowledge and cultural practice accessible online. Open Glam is a new global movement advocating free and open access to cultural artifacts held in memory institutions around the world, as well as to make them accessible for reuse. While Glam institutions have always had a fundamental role in providing access to knowledge and to culture, the mission of Open Glam is to push this access even further by making their collections more discoverable and better connected with the help of the Internet. The Open Glam movement encourages cultural institutions to publish their collections online and to allow users to contribute, to participate and to share. In this spirit, Ritas Budaya was launched with an awareness that culture belongs to all of us, not only to researchers, academicians and governmental institutions. Therefore, cultural artifacts ideally should be able to be enjoyed by a general public without significant financial or technical constraints. <clears throat> But Retas Budaya does not stop at access. Utilization is also of importance. Now, what does this mean? For one, it means that the public is given the flexibility to apply its own creativity to the reuse of cultural artifacts before and during the festival. And the dialogue that is happening during the reuse is again adding to the richness of our culture. The goal of Retas Budaya is therefore to make cultural data in Indonesia freely accessible to everyone to use, to share and to modify. This program brings together glam institutions and creative minds, as well as tech enthusiasts, to yield collaborations and innovations deriving from this principle of open cultural data. We will celebrate the more than 2,500 cultural artifacts that have been opened by our institutional partners for this event and for the public. These artifacts are now not only available online, but can also be used in ways previously unimaginable. During the program, participants transform open cultural data into short stories, into games and into design remix. The participants add their own interpretations of the data and this leads to inspiring new ways of experience and to a reinterpretation of the collection. So I do encourage you and I do invite you to have a look at the outcomes of this productive hacking on Sunday. And of course, we sincerely hope that this cooperation, this collaboration opens doors to more collaboration between GLAM and the public. Now, let me add and finally some words to the flow of events. Today, you will be hearing from excellent speakers and specialists from Europe and Asia about their experience and perspectives on implementing open access in GLAM institutions. You will hear from Katrin Glinka, former scientific project lead 
of Museum 4.0, Museum 4.0 in Germany in her keynote talk reflecting upon how we can use digital technologies to positively impact and change GLAM institutions. In a panel discussion, speakers from Germany, Indonesia, New Zealand and India will share their expertise in devising strategies to connect with audiences and using digital means. Another panel will explore citizen science and its potential for GLAM institutions. Further, we will be given an overview of the latest EU copyright reform and the relation between copyright and open cultural data. After that, two workshops are planned inviting us to make use of open cultural data. The first one takes a visual approach and invites to create digital collages using free to use images from our GLAM partners. Using the same archive collections, the second workshop explores transforming textual and visual information into sound and develops musical ideas in the process. We have also invited experts in game development and from the publishing industries to share their experience. This complements the two tracks, stories from data and games from data. In stories from data, participants are encouraged to write short stories inspired from the opened cultural collections. While in games from data, we hold an open data game jam where we challenge game developers to use open cultural data as part of their games. We also have two other tracks, open design remix and citizen science. Graphic designers are called upon to remix the images from the archives. Lastly, we ask the public to help in scientific research by contributing their personal documentation of cultural data. On the last day of the festival, which is on Sunday, we will showcase some of the best works that have been created during this hackathon. And as there always is a bit of competition, we will announce the winners. Finally, my sincere thanks go to our team at the Goethe Institute, to Nico Sandfuchs, our Director Digital and Information, and to Yvonne Christiani, who really has been the driving force in putting this together. I very much hope that this weekend inspires ideas and discussions around open access and around GLAM. Finally, let me wish you all a great, a fruitful, a stimulating festival experience. Thank you very much for being with us and do enjoy those three days. Thank you. <music>